do you like it? <laughs> <Don't stop>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a long way down, I know. I know, and fix me out. We like rods. No, we don't. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. This time we will have a busy schedule and we'll be starting with Bryce Canyon. It has been getting colder as you can see here on the outskirts of the canyon. That white stuff? Yeah, snow. But that will not hold us back from exploring. Once you arrive at Bryce Canyon, you have the choice of many viewpoints with different themes. Let's check out the first one. Let's get inspired. Yeah. I'm a clown for a clown. I have a clown for a clown. It's a German sentence for somebody who uh, just seems to be or tries to be funny all the time, in a way. Um, and the English translation probably would be uh, I guess you ate a clown for breakfast. So, there you go. Oui. I'm already inspired. Yeah. Help me see how do I compare A different me How do I compare So yes, you can go further up, quite a bit actually, people are there, but uh, with the ice and snow, well, that's I guess a drawback when you're here in the winter. Uh, we kind of don't want to break our bones here. Mm, <laughs> if someone falls and breaks something, that's you. that will be me. Yep. And I really don't feel like it. Nope. So far I haven't broken a bone in my body my whole life, but uh, she did. And that was really bad. Teeny tiny patch of ice. Yeah, she just needs like uh, two square it doesn't take much. inches of ice patch and she will break a bone. It's the only bone I've ever broken, but I've broken it well in well, four places. It was two bones. Yeah, fibia it was and the tibia. tibia and the fibula. That's Fib why I have screws in the knee and in my ankle, because I've got a rod all the way from the knee to the ankle. Yeah, they had to push it through the knee and drill and all that kind of stuff. All the fun stuff. Ooh, there's a big crow on the left. Raven. Hello, buddy. He's not sure. Or she. I don't know. Can't tell. I get when they do this. It's like. Yeah. Too much? <laughs> I get it. I think another advantage of being here uh, in the winter months. If the timing is right. There's nobody else here. Just how we like it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. There's a car coming. <laughs> you jinxed it. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Ooh, that's beautiful. What is it called? Sheep Canyon, I think. Um, Sheep Creek. Sheep Creek.
There are hiking trails, but with the snow and everything, uh, yeah, we won't do those. You have to be prepared. You have to bring spikes and sticks. And yeah, and yeah, we don't want to break our bones. Yeah. But it's beautiful like that too, with the snow and everything. It's awesome. We've seen it in the uh, high season in July, uh, but with the snow, it's a different picture. Very cool to see. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's very quiet. So we just arrived in uh, Page, Arizona, and Horseshoe Bend is right here. And it's busy on a Monday. Well, that's where we're going. Yeah. Loads of people. Cool. We like crowds. No, we don't. Yeah, we did not expect it to be this busy on a Monday at this time of year. And it's not warm either. Busy yeah. school so It's crazy. Mm. Oh, and they asked for $10 parking, which is... And you can only access it from there. You have to pay the parking. It's a tad steep. That's a long way down, honey. I know, and it freaks me out. Horseshoe Bend in Page, Arizona. Wow, that was busier than we thought. <laughs> that was like a, I don't know, <laughs> that's crazy. It's not just the amount of people, it's it's the noise they make. They all, like, I would say 50-60% of them are talking so loud and shouting across. It's, you can't just stand there and take in the scenery because it's... It's too much. It's too much. So we're moving on. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> I mean, of course, uh, everybody wants to see it, and uh, yeah, but you don't have to it's just—it's just, it's just uh, was very uh, like like Julia, Julia said, we weren't able to really take it in because it was just so much and so loud. So it was great to see the canyon and the horseshoe bend. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. Yeah, just crowd-wise, not for us. Maybe for somebody of you, but not for us. Oh well, we move on. We go to Walmart now, get some stuff, and probably stay there overnight anyway. Yeah, and continue tomorrow. After Horseshoe Bend, we got on our way to the Canyons of Canyons, the spectacular Grand Canyon. Since we were in the area anyway, and it would be a shame to miss out on that one. Wouldn't you agree? Hello everyone, Hello. welcome to the Nibby and Tet Cold Grand Canyon. We just drove through the uh, entrance and we're on uh, uh, BLM land just outside of it last night. Very cool. Uh, just minus nine degrees. That was okay. And we're going to our first viewpoint. So excited. The yeah, the wind is cold. <laughs> it's it's yeah. Took jacket. Winter jacket. First time. By the way, took is a hat. It's beanie. Beanie, right? A took is a beanie. 
for everybody not from Canada. I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out an old pen. Something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost I do like it I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. Yeah. She just something. Strong, yeah, she's probably would. Do you like it, Leila? A little bit windy, eh? You've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other. Whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answers. And you'll find. Hi everyone, we're just about to walk through the uh, Grand Canyon village. Um, we've been at quite a few viewpoints so far and uh, as you've probably seen by now. And Julia is just getting a jacket because the weather is kind of like warm, cold, warm, cold. <laughs> um, right now they cleared up nicely. Uh, so we're just patiently waiting for Julia and uh, this is there she comes and this is what happens every time one of us leaves Juno cannot be without somebody missing in her pack so we're here at the uh, Grand Canyon village um, and that's the south end and uh, Julia just sat like down there I'm not sure that's visible there's a trail you can hike that goes from the south to the all the way to the north and all the Grand Canyon and that's it's quite a hike it's probably cold yeah, it's probably very cold right now yeah the sun came out but the shade is already so dominant Very cool. Cool hike. Good morning, everybody. We stayed close to the entrance to the uh, Grand Canyon National Park and uh, we will be uh, leaving this beautiful uh, BLM site here. Very flat, it was an awesome quiet night, a little bit windy and uh, just around zero degrees Celsius. And uh, we will be going direction uh, Williams. Uh, we've been there before but I want to check it out again and stay there on BLM then as well because we like it so much. Okay. Let's get going. And here we are, Williams, Arizona. It was only a one hour drive from the Grand Canyon village and is a perfect spot to stop for a little break. As you can see, it is a cute little town with a famous Route 66 going right through it. A short while after, we continued our trip to Flagstaff. So join us next time to see more of our adventures and what awesome locations we discover. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. See you next time.